Hello, explorers. Welcome to Q&A episode 15 of Unbroken Podcast. I'm your host, Alexandra Amore, and I'm here today with the question, how does a quiet mind relate to weight loss? This was something I was thinking about a week or so ago and came up with the metaphor of a clock and the gears inside a clock. Uh, If you've seen the post, if you found this episode via a social media post, you'll see that in the sharing image, I use an image of those of those metal gears that are inside a mechanical clock. And here's why I did that. It seems to me that very often our minds can innocently feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. You know, we have these busy um, problem solving brains, <laughs> sorry, my, my problem solving brain went blank there for a second. So we have these busy problem solving brains that are really smart, um, really adapted to our lives as human beings, and very often working super hard to make sure that our lives are organized and safe primarily and uh, that we are yeah that we are more in a situation where we know what's going to happen brain minds always like what they know versus what they don't know so there can just be a lot of really super busy activity going on in there and the way I saw it and the reason I use those the image of the gears in the clock is that our mind, our brains are really one of the tiny little gears that are inside a mechanical clock. And if you've ever seen inside a clock, it's quite surprising, actually, the first time I saw it. There's so much going on, like gears of all different sizes. And so if you can imagine that our mind, it feels like the burden of responsibility very often can can feel like it's on our mind and that it has to do all the heavy lifting or all the hard work of keeping the the gears of life moving and the gears of the world and the gears of the people around us and the universe and all that kind of stuff. When we begin to see that our brain uh, is just a tiny little gear in the greater picture, the greater landscape of that mechanical operation of the inside of the clock. And that actually the gear, the small gear isn't doing any of the moving of any of the other gears. It's, it's being turned because of the greater mechanical things that are going on, you know, because the clockmaker has wound up the clock and Therefore, our brains are actually responsible for so much less than we think they are. And so that brings us to the topic of weight loss and an unwanted overeating habit. And speaking for myself personally, what I know is that when I felt like the the burden of the world was entirely on me, and when my brain was assuming that it was it was the thing keeping the the universe running sort of keeping my life on track um that felt like a lot of pressure it really felt like uh you know too much honestly too much pressure and that kind of strain and stress can then be what leads to unwanted habits so we just very naturally reach for substances that are going to soothe and comfort us and give us some relief from all the busyness and um, all the, yeah, the chatter and the noise and the weight, pun intended, of all that responsibility. Feeling like we're responsible for keeping everything moving, for keeping the clock in motion. But when we begin to explore this understanding and see that our lives and the instances within them 
are flowing through us rather than being controlled by us, then the strain, a lot of the strain and stress and pressure that we've been feeling fall away. And when that happens, then there's just naturally, there's less need for us to reach for our unwanted habit. So that's how a quiet mind is related to weight loss. And I know in the beginning of my exploration of this understanding, I almost, well, I was going to say almost, but you know what? It wasn't. I added more thinking to what was going on in my head innocently um, thinking that learning about this understanding I guess trying to get my head around it my brain around it was it was more complex than it actually is and the longer I explore the inside out understanding the more I see how simple it is and the more I see how much I can relax into the wisdom of the universe that's already there. So in other words, I can just carry on with my life doing my little cog in the wheel things and the the greater mechanism of the clock is going to keep my life running. And in fact, there's very little that I need to do or to and to think about in order to make that happen. And the more I can just let my mind naturally settle, then the more flowy, for lack of a better word, my life becomes. The more I rely on the, this idea that there's a greater mechanism at play, that there's something greater than myself that is that is flowing through and and living my life, um, the more I can relax and settle down and my, and have less need for my previously unwanted habits. So I hope that's not too clunky. Uh, I liked the metaphor when I thought of it and yeah, I just hope it's helpful for you to kind of visualize the gears in a clock. You know, if you picture a big grandfather clock or something, And imagine that, yes, you are in there, you are working as a tiny little cog, but there's something greater at play and you can rely on the fact that that is happening and maybe even begin to relax a little bit yourself uh, about how you're living your life. So I hope that's been helpful. And as ever, if you have a question, please uh, go to alexandraamore.com forward slash question and fill out the form there and I'll be happy to answer. So take care and I will talk to you again next week. Bye.